All right, so I'm going to be on step two of putting, of dealing with the stripped drain plug. So here's my 2017 YZ450F, 180 hours, great motor condition, rebuilt twice. If you didn't see my other video of taking it out, probably wasn't that interesting unless you're trying to get some tips, but it is out. So it would have been a lot easier to deal with my YZ250 because there's not as many cables obviously and the drain plug is going towards the bottom and I wouldn't have to take the whole stinking motor out of the frame. So here's the engine out of the motorcycle. A really good running solid engine. No problems with the 180 hours, two top end rebuilds, um, water pump bearing seals went out that's about it on the engine um, but because i've changed the oil 30 times i've managed to strip the drain plug you can see that anyway so quite a lot of effort to get the motor out and i went ahead and bought a time cert thread repair kit again this would be really simple but just on the bottom just do it and it's the uh, time cert M10 by 1.25. So that should fit the original drain plugs and the magnetic drain plugs. And Step one, drill out all threads, keeping drill square to surface of hole. Easier said than done. Okay, so here's the scary part. I guess. I told my wife that uh, if I messed up on this, I'm buying a new motorcycle. So, anyway, I'll mess up. Anyway, the instructions say to use uh, a little bit of WD 40 for this and also put some grease on the end of the drill bit so the shavings stick to it and don't go inside the engine. So, I'll drill out the threads, keeping the square which is the hardest part i think there we go actually not that much to to drill out but you can see some big good chunks of yeah good chunks of metal came out that's positive and by the way, that was a thirteen thirty seconds drill bit. I guess it looks pretty good. Hopefully, I went straight down there. Second step is to counter bore. So you have the counterbore tool here, and what they'll do is they'll create a, a surface so your insert will fit in there. And you go in there and spin around and counterbore it a little bit, and you go until it stops. A little bit worried that that's going to be really quite close there, but. Give it a shot. Worst case is I have to break the whole case apart. Get a new one. That would not be good. Put a little grease on it as well. Just so that it gathers up the shavings. Basically, it just stops when it's done. So there's a ridge there. See all that metal shaving? So we'll go to the point of no more cutting, and that's it. It stops. Uh, quite a, quite a lot of shavings there. Of 
course I'm going to try to clean this out as best as possible. So, see that? So it's countersunk. So that when this goes in there, that ridge will make it so it's flush. Again, you're going to want to clean that out. Run some old oil through there. And I'm going to do a top end rebuild on this anyway, so I'll be flushing it out. Seems to be going in okay. Pasta. I might have to make this smaller. Oh no. It's gonna hit. Okay, let's put this hole in the worst place possible. Yamaha. And I think. I think we got it here. It seems to be in there all the way. Come back out. Definitely some more shavings there. Well, I definitely cut. And it actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to use a Q tip to get in there, get what I can out of there. It's another reason why I use magnetic drain plugs. Okay. I don't know if you can see the new grooves there. Hopefully you can. But now I'll be using tap wrench, all the threads of the driver tool, and we're going to put one of those inserts in there. And they gave me quite a few different inserts. Yet, somehow, I think they're all the same. Let's measure them just for fun. So, 16.5. <laughs> so, yeah, they gave me five of them. All the same size. So, if any of you need this done, I have extras so here's the this is what you're gonna do this is gonna go into what we just created and this will drive it in that and then your drain plug will go inside that I've heard of people running their motorcycles on WD-40, not engine oil before. I don't think it really worked out that well for them. It just gets too hot. A little 30 weight oil. Very as old as, you know, definitely older than my motorcycle. Okay, now if I know what I'm doing, it's gonna work out. If not, I'm gonna get a new motorcycle. Just push this one up and down the street with no motor in it. So 
So here we go. We're going to just screw that in there. So yeah, we're just going to screw that in there. So just insert it. It's going in there really quite easily at the beginning and then it'll get harder. And then it'll be expand and be done at some point. And again, gonna have a problem here with hitting the crankcase cover. Dang it. So as it gets tighter, it's expanding the threads. But hopefully it will hold it in place forever. I do hope it's going in. sure going in and then it gets easy again and then I think you're you just back it out at this point just for fun I'll go all the way in Okay, now you remove it, hopefully the thing stays in there, now that I'm done I probably think I probably should put some Loctite or something in there, but it should have expanded into the threads, if not, well I have four others that I can use. And there you have it. How does that look? I like it. Again, see these inserts? They're not really threaded all the way to the end. That's why it grabs it, puts it in there. You see there? And that's the end. So this drain bolt should just screw on in there like a champ. The drain bolt goes in there, no problem at all. Of course you need to don't do what I'm doing because you do need a crush washer on there so I think that's it so I will flush some oil through there put oil in there and seal it up make sure it doesn't leak So I filled it up with oil and did the, left it overnight. No, it's like about 24 hours now. And happy to say, zero leakage. So now I'll drain this oil out of there. Make sure there's no shavings. And um, probably replace the piston. You might ask, well, Dave, you got this engine out of your frame. How are you going to get the oil out? Not making a mess. Here's what it decided to do. Let's hope that the thing doesn't fall huh, out of my truck or I will be buying a new engine. So let's see what kind of mess I can make here. I'm pretty good at making messes. What do you think? 
ingenious or risky. I thought I got most of the shavings out, but not obviously not. I can I see some of the, the pan. Okay, so now let's see what this engine weighs. What's your guess? Ugh. No oil. 2017 YZ450F. Two forty-two. Hey Siri, what's two forty-two minus one seventy-seven? Forty-two minus one hundred seventy-seven is sixty-five. YZ four hundred and fifty F two thousand seventeen dry is sixty-five pounds. 